The former Greece police chief is now facing criminal charges after a crash last month that led to his resignation. Today, the Monroe County District Attorney's Office announced the conclusion of their investigation into Andrew Forsyth and that crash. The Greece Police Department also breaking their silence today on its investigation and what took place that night when their officers responded to the scene. We have team coverage on this tonight. Christian Garzon has a live report from Greece Police Headquarters what, with what they have to say. But first, we go to Jack Watson, who has more on the charges filed against Forsyth. Jack. And out of, of those charges, a DWI charge, the most notable as the DA pieced together what she says happened on the night of October 20th. And here's what her investigation found on that night. Forsyth was attending a Signal 30 dinner to benefit the families of fallen state law enforcement. They say after 10 p.m., Forsyth consumed at least six alcoholic drinks, then got behind the wheel after midnight. Then Dorley says Forsyth hit a guardrail on 390 North, causing major damage to his town issued. Chevrolet Tahoe. The DA says he did not stay at the crash and did not report the crash as soon as he was physically able. He then drove six miles northwest, according to the DA, to North Greece Road with just one wheel remaining on his car, one functional wheel remaining. Forsyth resigned a few weeks ago amid the investigation. Dorley says he had a good law enforcement career. He just made a mistake. You know, Andrew Forsyth, um, he had a wonderful career in law enforcement, and people can't forget that. He made a mistake. He's got to be held accountable for this mistake. But he was an excellent chief in Greece, and he has served this community admirably. We can't define him by this one mistake. Well, Adam, in addition to that DWI charge, it's a misdemeanor. Forsyth is charged with leaving the scene of a property damage accident, a traffic infraction. His arraignment in Greestown Court is scheduled for December 9th. We are live at the DA's office. Jack Watson, News 8. Jack, thank you. Greestown Supervisor Bill Rylick says the town will be conducting its own internal investigation into former Chief Forsyth and what happened here. Christian Garzone joining us live in Greece with more on this. Christian. Well, Adam, Town Supervisor Bill Rylick says even in all of this, he's still incredibly proud of the Greece police, saying they're the best department in New York State. But when it comes to Drew Forsyth, he says he's incredibly heartbroken and disappointed over his actions, and an internal investigation must be done, and police protocol needs to change. Rylick says the actions of Forsyth that night and the responding officers showed a complete lack of regard for the law and public safety. For instance, a breathalyzer test was not given and communication was just not clear about what happened. The story Rylick said he got had many details left out. He learned a great deal from media reports as this got worse. Rylick says Joe Morabito will be leading the internal investigation, a man who spent 34 years with the Rochester Police Department. Three officers are also suspended in this. They were, they were on the scene that night with, with Forsyth, Deputy Chief Casey Vocal, Lieutenant Andrew Potter, and Officer Evan Kelpin. They will have indefinite suspensions during the course of this investigation. Rylick wants protocols like police general orders changed, so whenever something like this happens, he knows knows the full story right away. For what happened, he says, there is no excuse. I should have been told if, if for whatever reason, I was not contacted that night. No one really was from administration. But then at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock the next morning, I should have had people in my office, and that didn't happen. Whatever needs to be done will be done. We're going to restore the trust by eliminating the breakdown that occurred and that's that's in procedures as well as in personnel and as far as the personnel there's nothing off the table now Rylick says more suspensions could be on the way depending what happens in this 60-day investigation as it plays out live in Greece Christian Garzon News 8 Adam right back to you all right Christian thanks the town board is looking for a new permanent chief now the acting chief is Jason Helfer for our complete coverage of this developing story, head to rochesterfirst.com.